Yo, welcome back to the channel, boys and girls. In today's video, I wanted to give you guys a quick tour on my pan cave and show you that you don't need to spend a lot of money when setting up your cave. And by pan cave, I mean my living room. So you're probably asking yourself why I don't have a dedicated space for my cave. And to be honest, I actually do have an office space, but the view out here is way better than my office space. But more importantly is I'm not a beta male like some of you chumps out there. So I don't have to ask my wife for permission on where to leave my bikes or my toys or any of that stuff. She doesn't nag me about anything that I do around here because when you pay the bills like I do, you get to do whatever you want around the house. <laughs> Let's get started. First up, we have Apple TV 4K, $200. Best $200 I've ever spent. It works really, really well. I haven't had any issues with the internet or connection dropouts. Runs way better than running Zwift on my laptop. Uh, next up, we have this computer monitor. Uh, this computer monitor, it probably cost me about $60 on the secondhand market I've had for several years works really, really great. You don't need this expensive 4K TV to run Zwift. All you need is a decent monitor. Uh, now, uh, as far as the table goes here, I have this super janky uh, TV dinner tray. It probably cost me like $15, but it works really well. It's stable and it's just big enough to put all of my things on it. So here's some of the stuff I always keep on me close by when I'm on Zwift here. So I have this uh, squirt chain lube. I use this maybe like every two to 300 miles. It works great. You already know what that's all about. Yo, seriously, this chamois cream is the best stuff I've ever used. I'm not even exaggerating here. Um, it's called the Honey Butt Chamois Cream. It's made by a doctor uh, and a dermatologist here in Chicago, but it's the best stuff I've ever used. In fact, I should do a whole separate video on just the chamois cream. It's that good. Um, of course, we have the Apple TV remote. Uh, we have this chain here, which I know looks stupid, but I use this as a plumb line. So whenever I'm making some minor bike fits at home, I can use it as a plumb line. Now, next up we have uh, my industrial fan. This fan cost me about, I think $40 um, and it works really, really great. It's not too loud and I can run it on the lowest setting and that is all I need to stay cool when I'm doing harder efforts. Uh, we have uh, some carpet here, super janky. Uh, we have a beach towel, as you can see. Uh, and then we have this $10 yoga mat. Now you can easily spend 60, even $70 on a mat for your trainer, but you don't need to do all of that. All you need is a $10 mat and you're good to go. Moving up here, we have a $15 stool that I got from the store. This is where I keep all of my, my stuff, my drinks, my snacks, my towel. Uh, this little uh, cardboard thing here, I know it's kind of janky, <laughs> but uh, I got this off of one of those hangers that they give you uh, when you pick up your clothes from the dry cleaner, but I use that to adjust the angle of my fan uh, when I'm racing. Now moving on to the bike itself, we have here this super bespoke custom iPhone holder. Now you can spend what, like $90 on one of those auto locks or whatever they're called, I don't know, but that's way too much money for something that you're only gonna be using four months out of the year. So I made this myself works really great, no issues. Now, as far as on the bike itself, now some of you guys have noticed that I don't use any sort of sweat guard or sweat protection for my frame. And so you're probably like, aren't you worried about getting sweat on all your components? And the answer is absolutely not. We keep our thermostat in the winter time at probably at about 64, maybe 65 degrees Fahrenheit. So between that temperature and the fan, I'm never ever worried about dripping so profusely that I'm getting sweat on my components. That has never ever happened. What else we got here? We got my uh, fiddled fig tree, which is awesome. We have some bike parts over there because I am still working on my custom build. Oh, don't wanna show you that too much, but I think that's about it guys. Um, so I wanna just show you just, just that, is that you don't have to spend a lot of money. I think everything all in probably cost me about $300. So you don't have to spend a lot of money with the exception of, of course, the bike and the smart trainer itself. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Let me know what you guys use for your pancake setup. And as always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to leave them down below. And I'm gonna check you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.